Textron is an American technology company that unfortunately manufactures and sells cluster bombs. Cluster bombs are a kind of bomb that are airdropped and open up to release hundreds of bomblets that shoot out over wide areas and either explode on impact or leave explosive bomblets on the ground. Because of this randomized nature, cluster bombs are specifically harmful to civilians. That's why 98% of cluster bomb victims are civilians and 40% of cluster bomb victims are children. So where are the cluster bombs Textron is making going to? Textron has sold almost $700 million worth of cluster bombs to Saudi Arabia, which is using them to attack neighboring Yemen. Saudi Arabia, with U.S. support, has been intervening in Yemen's civil war, supporting its preferred presidential candidate and causing a great humanitarian crisis. The effects of cluster bombing in this has been disastrous. Now, Saudi Arabia's airstrikes on Yemen continue unabated, claiming more civilian lives in their latest aggression. So the warplanes have targeted residential areas in Saada province using cluster bombs, leaving an unspecified number of people dead. Uh, while 100 countries in the world have signed a ban on cluster munitions, the U.S. is one of the few that is not. Action, however, has attempted to be taken. In June, an amendment was proposed that would have stopped the sale of cluster bombs to Saudi Arabia. Unfortunately, the amendment narrowly failed to pass. That's why Textron, the only remaining U.S. manufacturer of cluster bombs, can continue this business, and it's located right here in Wilmington, Massachusetts. There, they are profiteering from weapons that are maiming and killing innocent Yemeni civilians. Luckily, people are fighting back in protest. Join Massachusetts Peace Section on Wednesday, July 6, from 4 to 6 p.m. in Wilmington to protest against this undressed weaponry and show Textron in Congress we will not stand for cluster bombs in the U.S. Too late or can't come? That's okay, too. Sign this petition to help lobby Congress to stop allowing the manufacturing and selling of cluster bombs in the United States today.